All right, so we're going to test shoulder horizontal adduction, which is going to be the pectoralis major. You're going to have your patient lying in supine, and the shoulder will be at approximately 90 degrees, and you want them to go across the midline just like so. So um, I like to start here, bring it all the way across like this. Go ahead and do that for me now. So right now I know she has a grade of at least a three because she's against gravity. So now I'm going to have her hold this position right here. I'm going to try to stand at the side and down here just so I get us out of the way of the uh, camera's obstruction. Um, so I'm going to hold here and I say, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, hold that, don't let me move you. Pull across just like we did. And great. So that was against maximum resistance, which is going to be a grade five. And again, this is for both ends. There's the uh, sternal end and the uh, clavicular end of this pec major. <clears throat> So these are kind of like testing them in aggregate or uh, all, all together. Grade four is they're going to complete the full range of motion and they're going to have a little bit of give or yield. So go ahead and pull it across again like you did. Okay, now hold that. Don't let me move you. Hold, 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 hold. See, she yielded there. So that's going to be a grade four. <clears throat> Excuse me. You already saw a grade three. Now, since we're right here, let's go ahead and talk about the um, clavicular head and the uh, sternal head. So when we are dealing with these two uh, particular heads, <clears throat> um, you need to think about the line of pull again. So we're going to abduct the shoulder at about a 60 degree angle. So it might be about right there. And you want them to pull up and in. So pull up and in. Hold that. Don't let me move you. Okay. Five, four, three, two, five, four, and three. Still apply here. So she has a three of that one um, by pulling across. Four is a yield. And a five, again, is, is unyielding. She's able to hold that contraction. Now, versus this, now think about that. When you're looking at this line of pull, it's pulling, um, I'm pulling in this direction, and the muscle fibers are right here. So that's going to be the clavicular end because that's where that muscle is going to be, um, that line of pull is going to be. Now, for the 120 degrees <clears throat> angle here, you're going to be working on the sternal end. Um, so think about that line of pull again. Okay, so... Keep that position just like so. Now pull it across like you did. Mm -hmm. Pull it across, down and down and down and in this time is going to be the operative words. Now hold that. Don't let me move you. Again, the same thing. Four is going to be a yielding. Five, hold that now. Hold tight, hold tight, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. There you go. And then a five is going to be uh, unyielding at that point. All right, so now when we're going to be testing um, grades two and one, uh, you're going to be one to the side of the patient. And again, it's going to be working through this gravity reduced situation. So you're going to support the arm. You're not going to perform the motion for them. Just support the arm and have them bring it across. So that is going to be a two. Go ahead and pull that across. So they're supported. Very good. Now there's other, one other situation you can put this patient in. Now here is the other only case where you're allowed to use the table and have friction. But again, the table has to be very smooth surface uh, because if you have any friction on the table, it may um, cause an incorrect um, score. So again, here it is. It's just like horizontal abduction, but this time we're going into adduction. Again, it's gravity reduced and you're going to ask the patient to slide it forward. So it's going to be just, as, just the same as me supporting uh, the extremity. So go ahead and bring that forward. Mm -hmm. And there you go. So that is going to be your grade, um, grade two. And then for grade one, of course, is going to be palpable contractile activity without any motion. And you can just, uh, just palpate right over that um, pec uh, major muscle.